In App Circle, you can get your builds via the UI interface of App Circle. So when you go to any build profile, you can see a list of commits and these build buttons will manually trigger a build. While manually triggering a build is nice, we can also auto trigger these builds. And we do this via going to the triggers pane on the top here. From here, you can set up new triggers so that every time a push event is happening on a branch or a merge request is created or any kind of tag is being pushed to your repository and a build will start on App Circle side. Triggers are not branch based, so it's project based. So every trigger that you add is going to trigger depending on the rule that you give. And if the branch is actually matching that rule, it will trigger. Okay, we click add and add a new push trigger. So for push triggers, App Circle asks us a branch name. So I can just tap a branch name, like specifically, let's just say that every time something is pushed to master uh, or develop, as you can see, I do have my develop branch. So let's just say that every time something is pushed to develop, this code, this build will be triggered. I have to pick a workflow. Let's just say that the push workflow will run. And then the third option is to use a default workflow. As you can see on the left, my develop branch does not have a configuration. A configuration is what app circle will build while building your app. So it's the Xcode version for iOS apps at least. It's the Xcode version, it's the project files and the code signing options and the distribution options and environment variables and, and whatnot. All in together we call these configurations. So what this means is that if this trigger will get triggered and the targeted branch does not have a configuration, it will just copy one of these configurations uh, and use it. So I do have two configured branches, so I just see two branches in the list in here. But if I had more, I would just, you know, have more options here. So every time like this is going to be, uh, this trigger is triggered, it will just copy from the master configuration and then use it in here. One of the things that I can do is that I can input a wildcard name in here. For instance, as you can see on the left, I do all my features feature branches starting with feature slash. So every time a branch is created beginning with the word feature, I want that build to be triggered. So I just write feature and then put a star, which means indicates that anything, any branch that will start with feature is going to be triggered. So I will also pick master from here. So I just like my master configuration to be a release configuration. And then I also pick a workflow and then I hit save. And now every time that I push a new feature branch, this will be triggered. The second version of triggers is pull merge triggers. So I will add one and this indicates first which branch that this merge request will be merged into. That is the target branch. For instance, every time that I merge something to, let's say develop or master, just pick master and I can also define source branch. So if I do this like star, it means that every branch that is being merged or created, created a pull request for to be merged into master will be triggered. But I can also just specify multiple items here. For instance, like anytime a branch that begins with feature, I tap the comma button to add an entry and then also from like develop, this means that every time a pull request is created from either develop branch or any of the feature branches to master, this workflow will start run running and a build will be triggered. Let's just save this as well. And the third option is tag push. I do have a tag push here already. So anytime that I tag something with R, beginning with R, uh, a build will start as well. And this is also a multiple item. So anytime that I do something like release or just specific uh, thing, like let's just say fix. If a tag has, uh, if a commit has a fixed tag, it will also be triggered as well. So I'll hit save in here as well. 
And one thing to note is that these options have importance over each other. So if a trigger has a specific branch name, that is priority number one. So it will always be run first uh, and the others will be neglected. And the second one is the mixed wildcard, like it has a star and also has some char characters. And the third one is like the, the completely wildcard option, which has the third importance. So uh, if there's a specific branch that will be triggered, the other ones will wait. Uh, but if there's not a specific branch trigger for that, it will just look for the other ones. And if that doesn't uh, exist, the third option will be used. So this is basically how you can set up triggers and ensure that AppCircle builds whenever you want it to. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.